So it's been a busy day down here in London. Just tell us what it's all about. Well, it's all about these three lads. I mean, I think you'll find the media have tried to make it about a million and one other things. But it's all about these three lads who, uh, more than anything, I'm grateful to because they've taken on this new role as an ambassadorial trio to um, take the word that is Everton, not only to our community, although that's hugely important, but to the footballing community and hopefully internationally. And uh, they were each chosen because at the end of the day, they are smashing lads, the three of them, really. And I say this in front of them, they are three Evertonians that I have been privileged to know for a few decades now. And when they said, yeah, Chairman, we, we agree with you, we, we, we fancy doing this, it was great for me, and it is great for me. You've got a Glaswegian, a Yorkshireman, yeah. and a Londoner, but they are blue through and through. Do you know, I didn't even realise that until about a week afterwards. I thought, hold on a minute, Snods is from Rotherham, he's from Tooting. <laughs> and where are you from? Glasgow. Oh, yeah, well, Dumbarton is where no, we got uh, yeah. Where is Dumbarton? Uh, down the hill of the just the other side of Glasgow. I'm still <laughs> down <laughs> where? By the Trossocks. Oh, it's oh, by the Trossocks. It's by the, 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 yeah. the Trossocks. Yeah. Oh, well, I never lived there. That explains everything. He comes from the Trossocks. <laughs> no, I don't. Glasgow. <laughs> They're honorary scousers, aren't they? Oh, total. And um, passionate Evertonians. I, um, when I first came to London, I stayed in Collier's Wood. Which is just yeah, down the road down from the road. Tooting, isn't it? Tooting so back. It is. Was it an easy decision to accept the offer, Graham? Yeah, it took me about a second. <laughs> so, no, listen, it was easy for all of us. I mean, Sharpie's, you know, been in and around the club for for decades now. So, you know, that Graham's very much aware of the role anyway. But for myself and Ian, you know, I'm sure Ian would say the same thing. It takes us a second to say yes to Bill because we love Everton, and you know, to have the opportunity to work here on a, as a, a full-time role. It's a dream come true for us, really. Sharp in form centre forward, you've got your wide midfielder and a defender alongside, you know. He's good, not, at, not he's very, good at this, isn't he? Not very fit. I'm glad, <laughs> I'm glad that Sheeds and Trevor Stephen. Uh, no, it's great for the boys to come on board. Uh, as I said, they've, they've both been loyal servants to the football club. Uh, this is a, a fantastic opportunity for the three of us to, to move on. You know, Jim was just talking about you know, the community and everything else. Is, uh, it's getting bigger and bigger you know, every year. So there's plenty for us to do, and of course it's important that we go uh, out and, and spread the word. It's a role that you're very much looking forward to, getting your teeth into, it's not? Very much so. Uh, two great lads as well, uh, former colleagues of mine. Uh, fantastic to be working with them, but most importantly, fantastic to be working for Everton Football Club. Uh, I know when the chairman uh, rang and asked me if I'd like to do the role, <coughs> it took me probably less than Graham for saying. Uh, fantastic, um, and it's a role I'm really looking forward to. And that's true, you know, Darren. I was, you know, I was thinking, I wonder if they're going to be up for this because they are legends, these boys. You can't get away from it. OK, they didn't come from Liverpool. But, you know, I've seen the way Evertonians respond to them. And obviously, in my greatest goal scorer, apart from Dixie, we've ever had, the man who actually turned down the Reds to join <laughs> us in what was close to a million pound transfer and became one of our most stylish and committed players ever, and the lad who possibly we wouldn't be here having this conversation. He'll argue with this, because he'll say, <laughs> I played a big part in that, which he did, I've got to be honest with you, but his bravery and uh, on that day that, you know, it's a part of us that doesn't want to remember, isn't it? Because we shouldn't have been in that position, but you do remember it, because you do look back and you do say, we don't want to go back to that Wimbledon day and we, you know, we want to make sure we don't want to go back. And I have two extraordinary mem memories of that day that are just so embedded in me. One was when we went 2-0 down, the right back, not giving up. He says he felt at that stage a bit, well, he didn't give I looked down, I looked down at him and he was going, come on. And then this lad, uh, not just the goals, but he was all over that pitch. And I don't know whether you were there, Darren, were you? But Absolutely. you remember the double save, which was... Do, do, do. <laughs> Some say it was... Do, 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 from Dean Holsworth when we could have gone 3-1 down. It was, it was an extraordinary day. And uh, another extraordinary memory I've got is of seeing these two at our Hillsborough Memorial Service 
at Goodison. I didn't know you were going to do uh, two players leading the, the scarves across Stanley Park. And there was Sharpie and Snods. And, and I remember that Snods was the first person at the Anfield gates on that horrific time mm. uh, to put the Everton mm. scarf. And, uh, and you know, you don't get closer to Everton and what it's about than those moments, do you, really? Well, you've quoted Alan Ball a couple of times today. Once Everton touches you, nothing's ever the same. Yeah, it is. It's fantastic. I, when I had that decision in 87, <coughs> it was a tough decision, but probably one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. And today, being a, uh, asked by the chairman to be an ambassador feels just as good as it did the day I signed for Everton Football Club. Um, That's great. And you're That's right, great. Once, you, once you do sign for this club, I, I don't know what it is, but it does take a big part of you. And uh, I'm delighted. When the referee gave the penalty that day, was it a struggle to get the ball off Snodge? <laughs> it was a struggle because he was sat with the lads in the Gladys Street. It was a but, uh, no, uh, listen, I knew I was taking a penalty, Darren. Um, it was one of those moments, as, as the chairman's already said there, we, we should never have, ever have been there. And I'm not proud to have been part of a side that got us in that situation. But I'm proud to have been part of something that got us out of it as well. So it was, it was a big moment and we needed that lift more than anything because we were 2 0 down and it was doom and gloom around the place. And that penalty and putting it in the back of the net just gave us that little bit of a lift going into half time. And the rest is history, isn't it? <laughs> um, fortunately, you know, we got away with it that day. And fortunately, things are a lot different now. We're at a club that is very positive mm. in a f far, far better place. And that's thanks to the chairman and Roberto and David Moyes before him. And hopefully the three of us can bring something to that in the future as well. I'm sure you will, Sharp. But just finally, the supporters will love this, won't they? Because they love all the ex-players in coaching roles down at Finch Farm. And to have these lads on board alongside yourself is a, is a fantastic. Yeah, definitely. It tells you that you know how much the lads feel for the club. You know, we were there for, for different periods, you know, lengthy periods. I was there 11 years. But uh, as Alan Ball said, it's not just uh, reiterated today. You know, it, it is a special club. You know, I, I don't think I'm not just saying that, but I don't think there's any other club that, that looks after the player, that accepts players the, the way that we do. Uh, and it's a pleasure to, to, to go every match, you know, whether it be home and away to watch the club. But also the relationships you build up as well. I think the manager, uh, Roberto's come in and he's been fantastic with, with the three of us. Made us feel, you know, very, very welcome. Sometimes going back to a training ground, maybe he feels as if he don't want to be really there and round about, but Roberto's embraced. You know, the ex-players and, and made it you know, quite clear that we're more than welcome to go there, so it's fantastic. I think it's important to say that Roberto, who was the first person I went to, went to the knees obviously at the mm. community, but Roberto, he said, chairman, fantastic mm. idea. Mm. And he said, chairman, three great lads to do it. And I think it's also important to say, look, it's not a gimmick. It has to be, just as Roberto had to be the right manager, had to be the right lads to wear the suit to be able to uh, promote the gospel that is Everton and I think even today you found out that these guys can not only talk the talk but they can walk the walk too. I mean just imagine uh, in the summer when Tim Howard became the hero of the US and Obama was on the phone, President Obama was on the phone to him saying hey you should be the new uh, Minister for Defence. Well. If these three lads, we got them over then to New York to get them to talk about Everton, what a great job they would have done and what a great job. I hope, I really hope that the legend of Graham Sharp, Graham Stewart and Liam Snowden will be around for a lot longer than Bill Kenwright's around. But I also hope that the trio will be around as long as they want to be and they will find ways of making this a bigger role than it is. And they, you know, Roberto said, just tell the boys, Finch Farm, they're always welcome. Because I think that's important to you, isn't it? Yeah, sure. to, to, to feel part of the club as well, the football side of things, you know. I know Snods wants to go in there and give them his views on the, <laughs> on, on the right back position. I, mean, I think he's, you know, still I don't know too huge, hugely capable, but Seamus is a bit quicker. Oh, right. Just a bit quicker. Uh, he is right. now. He is now, yeah. <laughs> he scores more goals. Yeah, he now. scores more goals. <laughs> So it's, it's uh, very positive and I'm really grateful to each of the three. I was going to finish by saying it's a great time to be an Evertonian, but you always, always say, you always say always to me. Always again. No, we've got to finish. We haven't mentioned the goal, have we?
We haven't mentioned the goal, and I think you've got to mention. We've done him, we've done him. We haven't mentioned the goal. It gets further and further out. How far out are we now, Sharpie? But it's not only that, <laughs> is it? It's not only that, Sharpie. Mm. It's the way Grobbler kicked yeah. it to Peter Reed. Peter Reed gave it to uh, Gary Stevens. Gary Stevens. Stevens. Gary Stevens gave it back to Peter Reed. Peter Reed gave it back, and then what? Yeah. Left foot over Lawrence. Yeah. Left was, foot yeah. over Lawrence. Yeah. Turned him on a sixpence. Yeah. Oh. And yeah, then maybe. probably the halfway line, wasn't it? It's getting the announcement. Yeah, it's the halfway line. It was about 25 yards, but as of years ago, and it's gone up to 45. <laughs> so we'll see halfway line. It was a great moment for us. That's oh, but it's great. You yeah. couldn't believe it. It's you great to score against you. And, and you got, I got as much enjoyment as Jag scoring later this season. Oh, it was yeah. a fantastic strike oh, as well. So, you know, a little bit of competition from Jags. Yeah.